the Hoover Dam that is uh, a border or in between Arizona and Nevada there's a uh, one hour difference so when we crossed the bridge uh, it was actually 2 30 p.m. and then just a couple of meters away it shows you 3 30 p.m. time zone in Arizona So Nevada gets its water supply from the Hoover Dam. through the years they say actually it has lessened the water supply right there if you can see that they said it used to be like halfway through the stone marked in there and right now that's the only amount and uh, when we were traveling from Utah and we've seen not much places that had snow they said it would have less water supply this year because it didn't snow as much in this part of the US And in Las Vegas, it's never snowing. Look, there's no snow. So that's why they said they have less and less water supply every year. It's, look, what we're wearing is not as what we're wearing in New York. Like this used to be covered. I wear two layers now because I have to have a shirt. But in New York, I have to wear a thick, thick layer on top of that because it's been snowing there so badly for the past two weeks, but that means it's good news because they'll have enough water supply and especially that New York is a very busy place as much there's so many people in there and it's also very expensive to live there in Las Vegas we've been having a good time since last night since the other night when we arrived we've had casinos already we went to Fremont Street uh, which is like the old downtown the old Vegas Street and last night we went to Bellagio we saw the musical fountain we went to the Caesars Palace there's a lot of things to do in here also and I'm thankful that I have friends in here to take us out to places like this because if we're touring around and just me and Leroy we're supposed to take um, a big bus uh, tours and top view tours maybe the ones we've taken in New York but unless you have somebody who drives you to a place like this you're not gonna see this So Hoover Dam separates Nevada and it's the border of Nevada and Arizona and the Hoover Dam is connected to the um, Colorado River There's a lot of people in here and Shalene was saying if you come here in the summer it's, it, it feels like you're in a desert uh, the Las Vegas weather is not very cold in winter. It's, it's actually 10 degrees right now, so it's very much like Kuwait when it's winter. So it gets like uh, 3 degrees colder in the evening. But it's still manageable, like you can wear these types of clothing. It's lovely in here. We were to go on top of that bridge because a lot of people are walking there but I don't know <laughs> we have to find a way up there So I'm going to show you the time difference of just a few meters away between Arizona and it's here 4 o'clock Is that 4? Yeah, 4 o'clock So, and this is the Nevada time zone tower that shows you it's 4.08 So, that means we've taken 8 minutes walking from the um, We took 8 minutes walking from the uh, Arizona time zone tower to Nevada 
tower with a lot of walking and a lot of pictures taken in between that took us eight minutes it's one hour difference just a few meters away we're taking a closer look at the town the hoover down water so even if it's a lot less than the previous year i think nevada is still covered by the water reservoir that we are seeing right now for the rest of the year <laughs> the Hoover Dam at uh, Nevada time, four PM, and Arizona, five PM. It's a bit dark now. It gets dark at 5, 5 o'clock. So when we drive back home, it's going to be dark already. Nabasan ng mga photographer, ano instinct? Hahaha! 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 Hahaha!